It is said that after Imam al-Baqir and Imam al-Sadiq, the teachings that have been preserved the most are those of Imam al-Kadhim. The imamat of Imam al-Kadhim lasted for over 35 years. During that period, he was imprisoned on multiple occasions. Whilst historians have differed over the length of his imprisonment, most agree that the severest of these incarcerations was towards the end of his life under the orders of the Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid. The question therefore arises as to how Imam al-Kadhim was able to guide the Shia community and convey so many teachings despite being separated from his followers. The answer to this question lies in the concept of Wukala. Wukala was a system where a network of agents set up by the Imam works to secretly relay his teachings, answer questions, manage finances and settle disputes. It was, in essence, the means by which the community could remain in touch with the Imam and obtain the benefit of his wisdom as Allah's chosen hujjah, despite his physical separation and amid the ongoing atmosphere of discrimination and oppression which was spread by the Abbasid Caliphate. This network was initially limited to regions with high concentrations of Shia such as Kufa, Baghdad and Medina but it eventually spread across the Muslim world. Examples of the Wukala system at work include a message that Imam al-Kadhim was able to deliver from prison to one of his agents named Hussein bin Mukhtar. In this message, the Imam asks him to inform Imam al-Ridha to carry out certain orders and to refrain from giving some specific items to a certain individual. A further example exists in a letter sent to a companion of the Imam by the name of Ali bin Suwaid. Ali wrote the letter to the Imam whilst he was imprisoned. However, due to the risks involved, the Imam had to delay his response for a number of months, waiting for the right moment to convey his message. Ali had a number of religious questions which only the Imam was able to clarify. In his letter, the Imam describes Ali as one of those whom Allah has blessed with placing the Ahlul Bayt in his path and explains the dangerous circumstances that forced the delayed response. It is easy for us in the age of the internet and social media to take for granted the instant access to information we each enjoy. What's more, it is almost impossible to overestimate the level of persecution the Shias faced during the Abbasid era. Many were killed and forced to flee while the rest had to remain separated, cut off from their Imam. We must never forget the sacrifices made by the Imam and his closest companions during this difficult period for the Shia community. In this way, the Wukala system became one of the most invaluable legacies of Imam al kadhim So successful it was, it would remain in place throughout the Imamate until the end of the minor occultation of the 12th Holy Imam.